My name is Toby, but the Christians usually call me by the name Negro because I'm black, because I'm a black servant for House of Christian. It's said that I'm so lucky that I can work for the Christian, one of the most honorable family in South of America. But I'm always wondering that a person is lucky as he a servant for others. Whenever I tell them my thought, they shout, Are you crazy? You are a Negro. This is your destiny. You must be a servant. Little by little, I don't tell them about this anymore. About the Grison's family, they're not really bad to me, except that sometimes Mr. Grison shouts at me angrily while drinking. There are three people in this house, Mr. Grison, a controlling, looming man, his sister, a crazy woman. Miss Emily, the only one who remember my name. Why I still call her Miss, when she should have gotten married for a long time. To my mind, Mr. Grison is the main reason. He deliberately thwarts Emily's attempt to find a husband, according to him. I can't accept all the boys in this town. They are not suitable. No one is appropriate for his daughter, and no one is appropriate for this family. Life is always ongoing. She lives a life like before her father's death, a life of a white woman of noble origin. I'm still a Negro servant of the Grison's family. Nothing changes, although the society has undergone tremendous changes. That is the thing I hear when I read the newspaper. They said that a sudden loss and a northern one I don't really care about who win or lose, but they say that all the people live equally. It always stuck in my mind, live equally. Thanks to many stories I heard in the market and what I read on the newspaper, I know that the war has ended and northern victory in the war reserved the United States as one nation and ended the institution of slavery. It means that I am not a servant anymore, am I? Recently, Miss Emily seemed so happy. She had been to the jewelers and ordered a man's toilet set in silver with the letters HB on each piece. She had also bought a complete outfit of men's clothing, including a nice shirt. I think that I should prepare for a new male owner, but live equally with the Negro still echo in my head. I thought everything would go on like that. One day, she comes back from a lake with Mr. Homer. She's so angry, and then next morning, she reverts to the previous Emily, a depressed one. Something has happened. A serious thing has happened. Good day, Miss Emily. I want to buy some poison. Oh, well, yes. What kind for us and sir? I don't care. Just get the best you can, okay? Well, thinking in hospital, use anything up to an animal, but what you need is a shelter. Ask me, is that a good one? Yes, but I don't think you need anything that was dry. I will buy ask me. Oh, whatever you want is empty, but the law requires you to tell what we are going to use it for. Today, tonight, Mr. Palmer will come and have dinner. I want you to be there for that. I want to get a small and lovely dinner.
Emily in the house, come in. Okay, where Emily is? It's Emily in the dining room, waiting for you. Good evening, my beautiful lady. Good evening, Homa. Please sit down. It's good. This is a special dish that I've been made. I think you will love it. Okay, let me try. Do we eat Elisa? Thank you, Mr. Hummer. I'll show you a better house. Sure. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. You are so gentle. What's wrong, Emily? You go, right? Yes, I have to go. You hurry. Don't be like that. I will go back. How about me? Oh my darling, I love you so much. So don't worry. So today you come here to say goodbye? I'm really sorry, but my team is going tomorrow. I need to go. My beloved, I love you so much. Okay. Do you want something to drink? Certainly. What is happening? Now I can confirm that Miss Emily will kill Mr. Homer. She will kill this man by the ethnic. Will I let Emily kill Homer? If she kills him, she becomes a pitiless killer. These stains will never wash out. But I'm just a servant. What I need to do is to obey the command. What I need to do is to obey her command if I'm a servant. But if not, if I were not a servant, what would I do? Now, I'm not a servant anymore. I'm free. I'm an independent one. So I need to prevent her from doing that. I'm doing that not because I'm her servant, but because I know this action will destroy her life. And I will have an uneasy conscience until my last hour. Yes, I will prevent her. It's my son. Come on, you need to go. Tommy, shut up! Oh my god! What are you doing, Tommy? I should, I should do things that I need to, to do. You're just my servant. You're my slave. You need to be obedient. How dare you? I'm not your servant anymore, Emily. I'm not a servant of anyone. Emily. Independent one. Are you crazy? We no longer have to be your slave. You are crazy. Emily, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. You would regret if you do that. You have to join your life. But, but he will go. He doesn't deserve your love. He's not a good man for you. You, you know that. Why are you still running away? No. He's a good man. And he loved me. You don't know anything. I want to kill him. Why, Emily? I don't want to kill him. I just want to keep him stay by my side. He had to live with me forever. He can't go anywhere. No, Emily. He's not love. You never kill him if you love him. You just scared that if you kill him. If he wants to go, I'll prevent him. If he wants to go, I'll kill him. But no one loved me. No one. No one wants to live with me. I'm just a lonely person. After that day, Emily became depressed and hopeless. Although she always refused all my caring, I definitely believe 
that someday she would change. Is that true? Mm, 
That's not a real one. That's the truth. What? what? Why do you, you do, do that? that? You know that we are from Crimson family, a high social family. And to me, it's just a nigger servant. You are in relationship with him, this means that you lower your status. Not only yours, but also ours, Crimson family. Come on, sis. We live in a different society now. And it's no longer servant and royal. You have to change your mind. No, 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 we can't do it. Our tradition has lasted for a long time, so we have to follow it. You can break the rule in your own ways. Yes, I can't let it happen. Once, you break it with him. Or two, I will kick him out of this house. And you never see him again. Never. It's your choice, Emily. I can no longer let anyone control my life. What I care about is just the honor of the prison, not my happiness. Even though my sister will be angry at me when I do not follow their thoughts, but I will convey my opinion. I was lucky to have Tuppy beside me, and the difference in color and social prejudice cannot prevent us from being together forever. No way! You don't have the right to do that. This is my life, not yours. I'm the only one who has the right to make my own decision. I'll live with Toby and I'll change the creation tradition. If you please do my choice, then stay here and we'll have a delicious dinner. If not, then go back to your home. Remember what you had to say, Emily. Your relationship will not have a happy ending as you expected. Never, never go. Perhaps not only my sister, but those out there will protest my decision. Although we do not receive blessings from many people now, I believe that people will accept it soon. I sent an equal future of all people, regardless of white or black, noble or slave. Look into my eyes. You Hello for you, Emily. Everything I do